What is going on is jungle justice. It's survival of the fittest. We are just a local government, small place. Sir, I just want to point out this. As we are going, you will see a lot of devastations that have been done to us. About 20,000 people are thought to have fled the wave of attacks, which some locals say is the worst massacre by mainly Muslim Fulani herdsmen since 2010, when about four to 500 people died near Jos. Victim after displaced victim told us how the attacks began in Okokolo village in Agatu local government area, and then continued every day in neighboring villages, leaving them nowhere to run. All the riverine villages have left there. And in fact, more than two thirds of Agatu are empty. Dr. Sunday Okoche, our mission leader and executive director of the victim support group, set up in July 2014 for victims of the Islamist Boko Haram insurgency in the northeast, was shocked by the scale of the devastation. I have been to a number of crisis spots in this country, especially in the northeast. I've been to some of the most devastated parts of, of the northeast by Boko Haram. What I have seen thus far is very comparable to the damages that Boko Haram caused in the northeast. What we saw was unnerving. The tales of victims could not capture the extent of the devastation. Travelling mile after mile on bumpy dirt roads, we saw no sign of human beings in village after burnt out village. Local officials explained that fear of repeat attacks kept them from coming back to bury the bodies still littered across the villages. Survivors said the attackers had AK-47s and ammunition belts. The survivors reported that two prior official trips by the army and police had ended with nothing more except the firing of warning shots. The narrative of the herder versus farmer conflict is common, but there are undercurrents of an apparently bitter religious battle for domination. Fulani herdsmen are mainly Muslim and the Agatu farmers are mostly Christian. After our mission, the Nigerian government suspended non-military visits to the region. Soldiers were deployed there just in time to forestall another attack on March the 5th, when herdsmen set fire to yet another village. It was easy for us to see why people like Akpa Idu were angry. In a couple of earlier villages, cattle roamed free, the only living things in sight, except for a couple of herdsmen who took off as soon as they saw our convoy's plumes of dust. As we drove further into the area, first swarms, droves, and then herds of hundreds of cows flanked by their herdsmen came into plain view. They appeared to be still at the scene of the crime. It seemed to be a continuing active situation, even as we left. <laughs> 